Oh, uh, no, I think I'm all... Ah! <laughs> oh, Marjorie! You gave me quite a shock with them things stuck on the end of your face. Well, somebody left them behind after last night's party. <laughs> uh, well, it's not the only thing they left behind, either. Would you look at this lot? I didn't think Riddlers were the sort of people to leave litter all over the place. Oh, well, it seems as though Riddlers are rather like humans in that respect, Marjorie. There are some as take their stuff home or put it in bins, and there's some as doesn't. Unfortunately, the lot has came to yesterday's ceremony with a short as doesn't. <laughs> oh, wasn't it a lovely ceremony, though? Seeing Tiddler made into a full Riddler. Uh, Tiddle up, Marjorie. Oh, yes. I shall have to get used to calling her that now. She isn't a Tiddler anymore. She's a full Riddler. Aye, and I hope she'll be a more responsible Riddler than the crew has left this lot for muggins here to tidy up. <laughs> Just look at this litter. Doesn't it make you feel bitter? What words can describe what you'd like to say? When it's you that's got to pick it up and clear it all away. Oh, what a mess. What a disgrace. There's folks been dropping litter all around the place. It makes me mad. It's past a joke. Why don't they put it in a bin like decent folk? I quite agree, Mossop. It's terrible. Oh, what a mess. Oh, what a sight. His folks been dropping litter and it's just not right. It's dangerous and dirty too. Why can't they put it in a bin like me and you? I mean, look at this, for example. Ah! Oh, my goodness me. Oh, look, there's Mossop. more rubbish for us to tidy up. <sighs> well, I hate to say this, Mossop. But you're not going to clear any of it up with this. Why not? It's a human type cleaner, that is. I got it from the greenhouse where you kept all that stuff. Very good at tidying away dust and rubbish, a human type cleaner. Mm -hmm. Yes, but this one doesn't work. It's broken. And even if it did work, you'd need to plug it into the electricity. Broken, is it? I thought it wasn't tidying the stuff away quite as effectively as it might. Mm. Oh, well, if it's broken, I shall just have to mend it. <gasps> no, you won't, Mossop. It's very dangerous to tamper with electrical things, even if they're not plugged in. Tamper? Tamper? I'm not going to, as you say, tamper, Marjorie. I'm going to mend it with thought magic. <laughs> thought magic? Well, what's that? Ah, it's something that only very clever riddlers can do, Marjorie. What you have to do is concentrate, think magical thoughts, and then you can make things happen. For instance, if I were to think the magical thought that this here cleaner was mended, it would be mended. Can you do that? Eh, uh, well, I'm not sure, to be honest. But if I'm going to become a mossy boots, which is the highest form of riddler there is, I shall have to master thought magic. Wouldn't it be easier just to get a broom and sweep it all up? You have no faith, Marjorie. Just watch, and you shall see the power of thought magic. Mm. Right. Mm. Cleaner, you are mended. Yeah, I should have done the trick. Do you mean to say that that's mended now? I do. And if I switch it on, it'll start to work? It will. Are you sure? Positive. Well, at least I thought it was positive. Uh, mm. Well, I thought it would do something. Dear. I'll get the broom. Uh, hey, no, no, no. I shall try again, Marjorie. And I shall keep trying until I succeed. <sighs> I just need to concentrate more and make sure I don't have any distractions around me. Oh, well, perhaps mm. I'd better leave you alone then. Um, yes, I think I would have more chance of success if I was on my own, yes. Mm. Right then. Well, I'll go and see if Tiddler, oh, I mean yeah. Tiddle Up, needs any help. Right. I expect she's got lots of things to do now she's moved into Mr. Grimley's garden. I'll go and see if I can help her. Right. Mm. Oh, mm. good luck with your thought magic. Uh, and uh, I'll see you later. <sighs> right, Cleaner. You're going to be mended by thought magic, whether you like it or not. So you better just cooperate. 
You are mended. Eh, 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 ah. You are mended. Oh, oh, I've done it. Right, cleaner, clean the garden. Oh, of course, you don't know where to go unless you've got your eyes. Um. Right, let's try that. Whoa, hoo -hoo. I've done more than mended you, haven't I? I better give you a name. Um, Edgar. Hey, great, Edgar. Go and clean the garden. <laughs> hey, great stuff, Edgar. Go it, go it, go it. Okay, thought you're not bad, are you? Hey, a bit more over there. That's it, lovely. That stuff over there. That's great, lovely. Now, yes, a bit more up. No, not that way. Edgar, that way. Edgar, come back here, Edgar. Come on, heel, heel. Come out from under that bush, Edgar. There's no rubbish there. There's no rubbish in there, lad. Get out, you great daft cleaner, you. Oh, look. Look at that, a riddle stone. A great pile of riddle stones. <laughs> Quite forgotten they were there, I had. <laughs> oh, get off, Edgar. You're worse than a tiddler, you are. There. There is now officially a riddling tree in this garden. So it's suitable for a fully grown riddler to move into. Thank you, Mr Grimley. Have you decided whereabouts in the garden you're going to make your home, Tiddlup? I mean, there isn't a well here for you to live in, is there? No. Well, that's a pity. Mm. Riddlers do like living in dark underground places. Well, if that's the case... <laughs> You might as well live in my coal cellar. <laughs> oh, that sounds perfect. I was only joking. Now, you wouldn't want to live in a coal cellar, would you? Well, may I see it? Oh, yes, all right. It's, it's down here. Ah, that looks lovely. Really lovely. Lovely? <laughs> How could you say that? This would make a perfect home. Are you sure about this, Tidlup? I mean, it's filthy down there, full of coal dust. But, but I can always clean it out, Marjorie. Yes, but I mean, to actually live down there? Well, rather you than me. Hey up, Marjorie! Oh, oh you ought to be more careful, Marjorie. You nearly fell down that hole, you did. It... Oh. Would you look at that? What a wonderful place it is. All dark and gloomy and homely like. Have you thought of renting it out for riddlers to live in, Mr. Grimley? Well, not renting it out as such. But I've told Tidlup that she can live down there if she wants to. Free of charge, of course. That's very kind of you, Mr. Grimley. You're very lucky, Tidlup. I know. Oh, 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 Tidlup. Will you stop doing that? Hasn't ever anybody ever told you how dangerous it is to come creeping up on people like that? I could have fallen down that hole, I could. Sorry, Mossop. What's that? Well, Tiddlop, I'd have thought you'd be able to guess that from the number of Aesop's foibles I tested you on. It's a riddle stone. Oh, but it's not the same as my riddle stones. No, it's an old model. Belongs to somebody who was made up to a full riddler many, many years ago. Oh, and who might that be? Me, of course. <laughs> Do you mean to say that this is one of the very riddle stones that your Riddler used to test you on Aesop's foibles when you were a tiddler. That's right, Marjorie. Gosh, and you've kept it all this time. Yes, that and all the other ones. I've kept them all. But why? Once a Riddler stone has given up its foible, it won't do it again. Ah, these newfangled ones, yes. But in the old days, they built Riddle stones to last. This steam-driven Riddle stone will tell you its foible as often as you want it to. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll show you if you like. Aesop, Aesop, tell us a story, do. Once, long ago, there was a Riddler with a most unusual body. He looked the same as anyone else. Two hands, two feet, one head, and lots of other bits as well. But what made him a very unusual Riddler indeed was the fact that all the different parts of his body could talk. Well, one day, the Riddler was sitting down to his supper, 
when his teeth started to grumble amongst themselves. I'm fed up to the back teeth, said one of his front teeth. I'm tired of eating all the time, chump, 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 every day, biting food and chewing it just so that the Riddler's stomach can be satisfied. Yeah, said the Riddler's hands. And what about us, lifting food up to the Riddler's mouth every mealtime, wearing our fingers to the bone just because that greedy old stomach wants to be filled? It's all right for you lot, grumbled the Riddler's feet. But what about us? We've got to walk to market and back just to buy food to keep that good-for-nothing stomach happy. All the other parts of the Riddler's body agreed that the stomach was just not pulling his weight. And so they decided to teach him a lesson. The feet refused to carry the Riddler to market to buy food for his stomach. The hands refused to lift food to the Riddler's mouth. And even when the Riddler tried to eat food straight from his plate like a pig at a trough, the mouth refused to take it in, and the teeth refused to chew it. So the stomach got no food at all, and the other parts of the body all thought it served him right. However, after a few days, they all began to feel very weak. The feet dragged slowly along the ground. The hands shook so much that they could hardly hold a pencil, and the teeth they began to drop out one by one. You see how it is, my friends, said the Riddler's stomach. I can't do anything without you, I admit that. But you can't survive without me either. We all need each other, if the Riddler's body is going to work properly. Well, after that, the various parts of the Riddler's body worked together very well indeed and there were no more complaints. But every now and then, just to let the other parts of the body know that he hadn't forgotten the quarrel, the stomach would grumble a bit when he was feeling hungry. And from that day to this, most stomachs still do. I think I could work out the moral of that one, you know. We all need each other, so we should all work together. Spot on, Mr Grimley. Of course, I got it straight away when I was a tiddler. Very clever tiddler I was, though I do say it before myself. It's a very good moral, that one, and very appropriate for right now. You see, tiddler needs to clean out the coal cellar before she can move in. But if she tackles it on her own, she hasn't got a hope of finishing it before bedtime. But if we all help, we can soon get it done. Uh, that's very kind of you, Marjorie. Nonsense, tiddler. We were all put on this world to help each other. And as it happens, I have just the thing to help you clean out your coal cellar in no time at all. Behold, Edgar! Here he comes! Go on, Edgar! Down the hole, Edgar! There's the boy! There's the boy! Go on, go on, go on! You know you can do it! Hey! That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You are clever, I said. Yep, I am. But well, where's it plugged into? I didn't see any cables or anything. Oh, it's not plugged into anything, Mr Grimley. It's working on magic. Thought magic. <laughs> Have you finished now, Edgar? Out you come, then. Edgar? Edgar! <gasps> ah, there you are, Edgar. <gasps> yeah. oh. Oh. Good boy, Edgar. <laughs> Oh, it gets the bit. Oh, 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 o